Welcome everyone for a quick open source update. You probably heard me a couple of times mentioning not only vintage and retro stuff, but also the wish for companies to release a source code for old products because keeping stuff around my plant obsolescence, sense, but also just having not only continuing to lose stuff um, like a P3 after five or 10 years, but also like for people who don't have money or just want to have fun with vintage stuff. And Imagination Tech has done this now, right? And remember this company from uh, previously supplying smartphone stuff, but also going back as far as Sega Dreamcast. Imagination Technology also, maybe they are actually up to some more stuff. They also just some months ago released the source code or the, the beginning of open source code, even in Mesa for their latest generation of GPUs that probably most people don't even have, potentially even PCIe, remember a year ago they even announced we do now big and high performance and go um, PCIe stuff. Maybe they, are after, maybe they are up for more after all, didn't even expect that because now, lo and behold, they actually really freaking announced the source code here just like today, some, some hour ago apparently. Series 1, PCX 1 and 2, original driver source code, Midas Arcade, PCX1 and 2, used as used in products. So this is 1990s technology, one of the first 3D accelerators. Um, source code provided as reference without any guarantees. I mean, not that software usually would come with any guarantees or warranties. <coughs> Although it even will compile or function correctly when compiled. Um, huge shout out, amazing stuff. I wish not only more companies would do this, I would actually wish that there would be a law, like if a company sees this support, um, the, the, they need to release at least specification, preferable like source code. I mean, otherwise we most do open source anyway, right? Maybe in a decade to come, there will be no proprietary source code potentially, maybe anymore in case we want to dream. Why? Because not only people purchase this, right? I would even say, I said this also a couple of times, I would even go as far as saying products need to be released with specifications, not to build them, not register level, uh, transistor logic gate level of a graphic card or Tesla. So basically I, I'm not asking, nobody's asking, at least not nobody, most people are not asking for blueprints. Most people are merely using, uh, asking for register level specification or like repair schematics. So not a whole blueprint to build your Tesla for free. People are simply asking for the right to repair. And similar here, the right to program your own stuff, things the latest and greatest NVIDIA stuff, right? You can't like easily unless you have the like leaked source code. Um, in my opinion, if you buy a product, especially like this programmable computer stuff, computer science, information technology stuff, in my opinion, owners deserve the right to use them at their will and fullest potential. That means for Linux people or other people, Sync, Haiku, Redux OS, writing their own freaking driver, right? Some people, NVIDIA fans always like, but yeah, they have a Linux driver. Like normal, sane people do not want a binary blocked NVIDIA driver, right? So in my opinion, for the future, like for decades to come as a society, I think it would be good if we somehow work together with lawmakers that should be similar to right to repair, right to now how to program, like not necessarily, this is not repair, this is like, continue using, like you have some precious P3 and stuff, um, the right to program it as you uh, as you want. Um, so yeah, this is not latest and greatest technology, also giving credit where credit is due, they are working, they employ like a handful now, open source developers, so totally didn't expect this, right? For years, also it took long, right? For many years, three, four, five years, we hear already, um, we want to hire, we want to do some open source stuff, probably know that they lost all the um, Apple business, well, they need to look elsewhere. This is also what I always tell, told the companies, right, for decades, like NVIDIA, my famous NVIDIA emails and stuff, I always told companies, what do you have to lose, right, you have only to win, and in this case, for example, if people tinker, this is not even a loss, right, they are not, nobody's losing sales for vintage and retro stuff for people having fun at home as a hobby. And they only gain fanboys, right? This is where you make friends, where you can continue and re-remember your 
memories, your childhood stuff of your first 3D stuff, and you, this is only a win-win, right? Nobody's losing sales, um, and people become fans, they tinker at home at the weekend and stuff, and then they are also more likely to use this for new designs, think TIO map, or whatever the latest and greatest stuff is. And I would actually go as far as power VR imagination tech over the years. I think they would have been even more successful. Certainly they were quite successful in embedded space a decade ago. Um, and they certainly lost quite some. They certainly earned big money with Apple, obviously. But now that Apple dropped them like a hot potato, now they are probably in a difficult position for the next decade to go forward. So that's probably why they double down here on open source technology. And I would argue, or I always argued, the company would today be in a better, way better position if they would have done for decades already open source stuff, right? Because now they are somewhat burned, nobody wants to work with them anymore. And now it takes the efforts now when lots of stuff, are, people are disappointed, projects lost. For example, in Embedded, right? We had we had projects, even with Power VR, 15 years ago at Asset Exa Code, and we always told our customers we can't support this, right? We even emailed them. We emailed Nvidia. I released an email with Nvidia email, right? I asked Nvidia even with NDA 15 years ago. So hey, we have product inquiries. We are a serious company um, in Germany and stuff, and we do Linux for 10 years or so. And they only replied on previous email, right? Nvidia only only replied. How good are your Windows CE skills? It's like, no, we are not in Windows CE and stuff. We want to, even back in the day, freaking stable and open source stuff. It's like, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so interesting stuff. And um, so here, here's quite some driver stuff. Um, lots of stuff is, of course, infrastructure. Also, this uh, OBS capture is flickering today. Amazing stuff. You find some defines here. I mean, some files are not. Also, you get some history. This is um, people working without version control system these days, uh, that days, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. So they have this old fashioned style of keeping history. Nowadays, this is, of course, in general, not the preferred way to do it. But f actually, for it has one benefit. I, I don't like this in modern code, right, for cluttering the source code, but for this. Vintage museum, vintage and uh, retro stuff, it actually has the benefit of having the history in there that otherwise would probably now lost. And this is, of course, interesting. Um, so, a lot of, I looked into a lot of files, many of them are not that interesting. Also, can this flickering stop there? It's, it's like, yeah. um, so, but this hardware is also simple, right? So, actually, you don't have uh, that many. So, you have the packed mode and um, as I always said, this hardware back in the day was so simple. There's, of course, many mm, less controls and complexities than you have today. So what makes this card interesting? So what this means for you, vintage and, hard, vintage and retro friends, is, of course, not latest and greatest technology. Nonetheless, nice and interesting, good gesture and goodwill. Also some direct 3D implementation wrapper stuff. So this flickering actually kind of sucks. I so much to window capturing. Can't even didn't even expect this window capture be such a um, nonsense. Um, so this card is interesting in in that way that it is not an immediate rendering card, right? So as I mentioned before, that is uh, from tile based deferred rendering, uh, TBDR. Uh, which is rendering the stuff not as a whole scene, triangle for triangle, but uh, tile, um, tile uh, intersected there or, or tile ways, which also uh, how in the meantime other hardware works. I think Armali or others, including Apple Silicon, and uh, also highly threadable and paralyzable. And um, for that, it is interesting to be uh, this other kind of rendering technology to investigate and play with. So if you want to take into a look into the theory, here's a code. Um, I didn't try to compile this. They say here some files are missing. Maybe you still find some elsewhere as a universal visa FPE there for uh, licensing issues. 
uh, only used for some Tomb Raider part though, or something. So yeah, I didn't didn't try to compile this. I would probably not try to compile this. I actually opened an issue <laughs> issue of hey, don't don't you want to release the Cairo stuff? I also don't have the card. Um, I actually wanted to auction one. There was they are rare on eBay. Um, I actually would want to have like a Neo 250, but they are even more rare. Um, I think I never came across a sale of those. I recently nearly auctioned a PCS. PC X2, but of all things, it was auctioned as a bundle of three cards or so. It even went away at a reasonable 210 maybe. And in retrospect, I should have auctioned this. I was thinking, should I really auction three? I don't really need three. Uh, I was thinking, okay, maybe I should then I auction three and sell two and maybe get one for free or something. In retrospect, I should have done this. I just stopped bidding at 210 as. Uh, Cheapskate, I usually am with uh, instant rich stuff. Anyway, really nice stuff. I wish, as I said, more companies would do this. If you want to look into how 90s driver were written, here you have it. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this as usual. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for next videos and other amazing stuff to come.